Hey, what's up guys? Daniel here. Today we're gonna be deep frying ducks. So I have two ducks right here. Take a look. Both of them are six pound, six pound ducks. Have them in water out here to thawing them out. They've been thawing out for a few hours each. So we're gonna be working on this uh, for Thanksgiving and uh, we're gonna be using this uh, peanut oil here that we picked up at Walmart. Those ducks are gonna be fabulous by the time they're done. Okay, you guys? So what you wanna do is uh, for every pound, um, you wanna cook nine minutes. So those ducks weigh six pounds roughly. So yeah, that'll take about an hour per duck. Uh, just get them nice, tender, soft, uh, ready to go. And uh, some of the spices that I will be using, any kind of blend, with citrate. For me, lemon pepper did the trick. Some seasoned pepper of the citrus blend, mojo rub. Um, so I'm gonna be splicing these two up, um, salt free. So we're gonna be seeing how it goes. Um, I'll be back in a couple hours, gonna let those ducks thaw out for another maybe two hours. I'll have everything set up and uh, we'll be ready to go and uh, start frying some duck, you guys. I. Stay tuned. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and dry out all our equipment that we're gonna be using today. Just make sure you get it nice and dry because water and oil don't mix. So we're gonna start dumping the oil in there. Right, some good stuff right here, guys. Let's go ahead and throw a little few gallons in there. So, recommendations is you you have your temperature at a constant 315 uh, Fahrenheit. I like to work between 315 and 350. That comes out with a nice little crunch, really super tender inside. Uh, yeah, most people say you gotta be consistent. Play with it. See what you come up with. Having some good duck tonight, guys. All right. Now it's time to crack the ducks out. All right, so we're gonna cook one duck. And in one hour, we're gonna cook the other duck. I don't know if you guys ever have a deep fried duck, but man, oh man, the first time I tried this, ooh, I was uh, head over heels, as they say, when you first fall in love. <laughs> ooh, still got some nice ice in here. That's all good. Let's get this ice up out of here. Now, most people get rid of all the gizzards and get rid of all the gizzards, but I'm Mexican, so no telling where the gizzards will end up. You guys are still pretty frozen up in there. I mean, the oil still has a ways to go, so what I'm gonna do is once I get all the gizzards out of here, which I believe that's it, I'm Mexican, man. We, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I'm gonna let it sit in the sun for another little while, while the uh, oil preps itself. And then as soon as all this is uh, done and said with, Start to marinate the process. Uh, show you guys, duck heart's really good. Just in case you guys don't know, it's one thing I do eat. All right, so the oil is right around where we're gonna need it as temperature will be. So now what we're gonna do, we are going to put the duck on some napkins. 
try to absorb as much moisture as possible because water and oil does not mix. So like I had mentioned, we want to get as much moisture as possible out of these guys because we go to put it in the oil, it's going to go pop, pop, pop. Pretty damn bad. We just want to get as much moisture out of there as possible just to be on the safe side. These little guys are real good, man. Really good eating. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that. Put that there. Holy shit. quiet <sighs> it does moisture you want to get all as much as possible out of there but that's just me I like my stuff to get a little flavor as much as possible yes water deteriorates from the flavor of trying to get a few more squeezes and um, I like to use floss when I go to tie it down give it a nice tie down you know give the duck a good shape I don't want to cut it out because when it's served you want it to look good baby use regular old uh, Gillette floss The wings. The wings don't need to be tied up. You just give them a good, a good fold out the back. See that? Give you the good fold. It kind of looks like, you know. Now, as far as the back legs go. the way I make my duck. Give me your hand. Alright. This is what it's going to look like as we throw it in there. First, because I purchased this for $148 at Target. Here I am. Well, Este no tiene nada de sal, es puro limón, naranja y chile. All right. So this guy here. <clears throat> yeah, we'll rub some on the outside, but I like to get majority. I don't know, that's just me. Like I said, you guys can do whatever you guys want. Any way you guys want. Don't have to take it from me. Just telling you guys. Remember, for every pound, you want to give it nine minutes of fry time. So, we're going to fry this one about an hour. Let's get some more mojo rub in there. <laughs> then the, um, on the next duck, we're going to pepperize that one. We're going to make that one a little more spicier than this one. Give that one a little more a different taste. See what the fam thinks about it. Alright, I say we're probably ready to drop the duck in there. So a lot of people drop the duck in ass first and they say let's do it ass in first. It's gonna look like as it's frying in there. So we're gonna be working with gentlemen. Yep. 
crazy. Crazy having a swimming pool with no fence. Anyways. So this is what we have right here. So right now we have the temperature at 325. I know it only reads up to 220, but I made sure it pegged over. This is what it's gonna look like as we drop it in there, gentlemen. So we're gonna start the timer. Four eighteen. This is what it does look like in the fire right now. Ooh, hot in there. And we'll just keep an eye on the temperature. Make sure the temperature doesn't go above three fifty. You hear that? They're saying that it smells really nice. So, we'll check back in an hour, guys. I'm gonna do a little something. We're gonna fry the heart real quick. Dump it down on the grill. Dump it in there. <laughs> All right, that feels like really done. Ooh, let's give it a minute to cool down. Ooh. Mm -mm. It's cool, that's one. <laughs> I said heart. <clears throat> really good. No. Two minutes. You see so see so fry it? I see it at two forty. Okay, let's cook the temperature down a little bit. Alright, we got another... Yeah, we're coming up on it. I'll be ready pretty soon. Hold Nelly. Now we're closing in on game time. You got another six minutes to go. And we are maintaining, bro. You know, it's a little dark, but it's still at rooms. I said it just burnt in there, man, but man, if you can smell this stuff. Oh, Jesus Christ. Be ready in a few minutes. Uh, for the time being, we have the duck ready to go. It's just my... Oh man, this guy right here actually. Yeah, I'm stuck with it. Oh, man, I'm gonna cook this up, see how this tastes, huh? Yeah, I think that would be a couple minutes. Man, growing up, yeah, we had pet ducks, pet chickens, pet rabbits, all that good stuff. And uh, I was really fortunate enough to have my grandpa around to teach me how to, uh, you know, go get our livestock, prep it, get it ready for the family to eat. Uh, really wish my family was more into that tune, but hey, times change. Can't win them all, I guess. It's just been in there for a little over a minute. Mm 
so they, that could be ready like in three minutes guys three minutes i ain't gonna sit here for three minutes and bore you guys to death unless you guys want me to nah i won't oh you guys hear that sizzling battle I don't recommend all you guys touching that oil now. My hands are so fucking rough. Oh, sheesh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, sheesh. If you ever get a chance, you gotta try this out. Oh, it's the man of the hour. No, but you want some skin? Probably a little hot. No, it is. Oh. All right. So that could be ready in a couple minutes, guys. Catch you in a bit. All right, game time, guys. Let's pull this bad boy up out of here. Oh, man. Look at that little duck. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, Nelly. Oof, wait until we cut into it. Woo! Promise you guys, man, they're gone. No duck like this ever made. All right, let's go cook this guy inside really quick. Get closer over here. All right, look at that nice tender meat in there, guys. Right, look at that. Oh man, too bad you guys are gonna taste this. But let's dig in. And there's your roast duck, guys. Um, really, really. 